good morning good afternoon good night whatever time of the day you're watching this hello hi guys welcome back to another weekly vlog my name is Enya if you're new here we do a little bit of everything on this channel fashion beauty lifestyle travel business cooking everything okay so today is Monday the 2nd of October starting another weekly vlog as of right now I am on my way to a hair shop um sally's beauty supply i want to go and buy some brown hair dye like a copper brown auburn brown i saw this on twitter and i said i want to recreate this look so i have some bundles in the studio from the stock that i ordered because i've come to the realization that i think a lot of people want to buy looks so rather than just buying like a curly wig a brown wig they want to buy other things so i feel like god dropped this in my spirit the other day and i had a conversation with one of my loyal clients as well and she said she thinks it'd be a good idea to do like um like an autumn lookbook or like an autumn look where i kind of do like seasonal looks so first one i'm going to do is this brown wig so that is the agenda for today i am going to go to the shop to see if i can find the dye see how much it is and then probably go to the studio to buy um go to the studio to create the look i also need to take all my stuff from the wedding from saturday back to my studio as well in case i have any clients this week as it stands this week is quite free it's looking like more of an admin week which is kind of good for me because i want to get into email marketing i've written out like 30 something email ideas so i need to start writing all the email templates so i need to get that done so what i'm going to do first of all right now is go to the hair shop see how much the, the dye is probably buy like two packs of dye because i think i'm going to make the wig quite long i'm not really sure uh then go to the studio i may color the wig now if not i might do it tomorrow but we're gonna see um and then i want to make a start on the email marketing stuff tonight because i want to start scheduling emails for if not this week then from next week so if you have ever signed up to my website or if you've signed up or bought anything from my app or even booked an appointment you are automatically enrolled on the email marketing you can always opt out but i know that it's something it's a market that i want to tap into i feel like god gave me this idea before and it's just a thing of starting to do what he's telling me to do because i do but sometimes i kind of like start and stop so i'm trying to hold myself accountable and it's like enya god is giving you this idea work on it stop delaying because there's a certain amount of money that i need to hit for the business that I'm starting that I told you guys about in my last vlog and it's not a small amount of money like I'm not talking it's not like 10k it's more than that and it's one of those ones where like I pray to God for something he gives me an idea I know for a fact that money's not going to drop out this guy God will give me an idea and it's like you need to work on this idea and then I will open the floodgates okay so I need to get on my ish because I have a very tight schedule for when I want this thing to happen if I just get my sh together so that's what we're doing today so anyway let me go because my camera has one bar and i want to take you guys into the shop with me so let's get cracking see you guys in a sec okay so i made it to sally's salon services i've already been inside um so i found the color that i want to use for the hair however because i don't have a trade card um it's like 20 pounds per tube 60 ml tube of permanent color so I was like, let me just quickly look on Amazon to see if I can find an Amazon. They have an Amazon for $8.99 instead of $19.99. So what I'm going to do instead is just order it on Amazon, three tubes for it to come tomorrow. Because I'm going to pay a fraction of the price. If I get it in the store, I'm paying £60. If I get it on Amazon, I'm paying like 20 something. So of course I'm going to get it from Amazon, do you know what I mean? But the main thing I wanted to come is so I can see the colours in person and then I can look at the colour chart and kind of pick which colours I want to go for. So what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to go home. Um, it's still quite early, it's only 12 past 12. I've actually been up since like 7.30 this morning just doing like small, small bits. So I'm going to go home and jump on my laptop and see if maybe today I can start doing some of those email templates because if anything is looking like I'm going to be doing the wig tomorrow instead of today which is not a bad thing um so i'm just gonna do other things instead i just kind of hate when days are a little bit slow but that's quite okay couples happening over the weekend put out a video on wednesday i'm thinking of doing like a love is blind slash married at first sight uk rundown but i'll get that i'll get into that when i get home my battery's just died so i'm gonna catch you guys when i'm home and then we can figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day it is quite a few hours later i'm back at home i've eaten all of that good stuff so 
I am currently um, trying to schedule some of the emails like I told you that I was doing. So I've currently just done the first draft of one email, which is basically just going to be like an introductory email. Um, basically just saying like, hey guys, like welcome to the email list. Da, 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 da. Um, essentially like welcome to end your hair. A tiny bit of background about me and then talking about like your autumn look, booking for a sew-in because sew-ins are perfect for this season, especially... Um, if you want a traditional sewing or if you want a traditional sewing or if you want like a closure sewing or frontal sewing they are perfect for this weather in my personal opinion it's just something that you can just like get up and go and your hair is basically more or less always done so I've just done the first email but as I was writing the email I came up with the idea of doing a campaign for this month because it is breast cancer awareness month I'm thinking of doing like a giveaway um, as well as donating like 10% of every service to um, breast cancer research uh, or, or like a chosen organization or charity. I just had that idea as I was writing the email because I was like, isn't it October? I'm pretty sure it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try and draft a campaign tonight, just brainstorm what I want to do in terms of a giveaway. Well, I've texted my sister because she was the last person I was talking to so my phone was on my message and app so I thought let me just type it to her quick before I forget it um what I initially wrote down was breast cancer awareness month free in-store slash giveaway to a breast cancer survivor or woman battling breast cancer 10% off services and sales and then I'll match the 10% to go towards like donations um or go towards breast cancer research and then I was like sorry just brainstorming an idea so I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is try to figure out what a good campaign would be because I have bundles in my studio so I was thinking oh maybe I'll offer like a free sewing to someone or someone can win some bundles to go towards I don't know like making a wig or something I don't have any wigs in sh in the studio unfortunately um so I else I would have just done like a wig giveaway but I can't do that so I think what I'm gonna do is try to schedule some more emails it's only two o'clock I'm gonna see if I can do some creative writing for about four more four more for the next couple ones i want to do but then also use this time to plan the campaign because i think that would be something really sweet it would be nice to do something as well as because it's to do with hair a lot of women lose their hair during chemo i know hair is very touchy i've had people call me about getting wigs and stuff um because they've been losing their hair or they're about to go into chemo and want to know what to do so i think it would be something really really nice I need to figure out what I want to do in terms of giveaway. It'll probably be like a bunch of products, maybe some bundles. I think I might do it as a thing of like three people. Get it? I'm really trying to think of how I want to do it. Hey guys, welcome to another day in the vlog. So today is the next day. Today is now Tuesday in the studio because I have a client coming soon. They're not here yet. They're probably not going to come till like three o'clock. If I'm being honest, it's actually two right now. But I am just going to edit some content. I have some hair content of when I was doing my bundle war. So I'm gonna try to edit that um, on my phone. Probably just watch, blah, 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 blah. probably just watch some TV as well and chill. Uh, I got through quite a lot of the emails that I was doing yesterday. I did about four or five. If I knew my client was gonna come slightly later then I probably would have brought my laptop to do some more emails because I realized that I've managed to create enough email ideas that I can schedule from basically I have enough email ideas to schedule me from tomorrow, so 4th of October, all the way until like the 11th of December, which is a very long time. So when I go home this evening, I'm going to write up some more email te templates. I'm going to go over them with my sister to see what she thinks and what she thinks they look like. And I'm also tempted to hire one of my friends to help me because she's quite good at creative writing. And in as much as these are emails, they're not really creative writing stuff. I genuinely feel like she'll be really good at helping me create the emails because so the emails are going to be offers newsletters just general admin stuff and then also um i can't remember the other category but there's going to be like four categories of of the emails that i'm sending out so newsletters would be like oh the difference between a sewing and a weave or okay they're the same thing okay it'll be like the difference between tapins microlinks and k-tips which ones are best for you? Which ones fit your lifestyle? Or what type of wig girly? Are you a frontal girly? Are you a closure girly? What type of wig is best for you? And then there'll be like tips and tricks on how to install your lace, like how to bleach and pluck. With like some small tutorials on there. Um, I'm also going to do like just like monthly favourites. So like what people have been buying in the month. 
um what's coming next for the next month like if we're doing like an autumn lookbook um and we're coming up with like a collection of wigs that look i don't know like brown auburn burgundy those sorts of four looks like what's new like new collections general admin will be okay cool it's october october slots are out um october is also breast cancer awareness month so there's going to be like the giveaways next month is black friday so it's going to be like letting people know that black friday is coming up black friday sale is coming up we're doing this that and that for black friday etc etc and so forth so that's the general gist of what the emails are going to be like um and then just yeah tips and tricks allowing people to leave reviews um leaving reviews from like oh look what google has to say about us or um look what our customers have to say about us and just general things like that so that's what i'm trying to do for the email list so it's not necessarily just bombarding people with spam it's actually going to be a lot of helpful information so for example if you're not good at installing your wigs there's going to be like step-by-step -step guide how to install your wig and i might include like pictures and things like that like it's going to be great i have about 30 about 40 emails that i need to finish and then just schedule from now until the end of the year and then say anything happens in between that time then i will also do like the little extra emails but i've scheduled the emails in a way that it's going to be every other day yeah it's also vlogtober i forgot <laughs> i forgot it was vlogtober so initially this vlog was only supposed to go out it's supposed to go out on sunday but i might put it out tomorrow and if i put it out tomorrow then we're gonna have a little chit chat about married at first sight and lovers blind because baby those shows are tea i was literally watching me and my dad watched monday's episode so of monday's episode of married at first sight uk and also my brother sent me a tiktok of nathaniel talking about how and why he left the show now i didn't know he left the show because obviously we're not there yet but he was just talking about his experience on the show and was saying how he asked for specific things they didn't comply and then also realized that the show was making him he said the show was creating a monster i don't know if he was referring to him or if he was referring to ella but yeah and then also Shauna and Brad. Ooh. The cracks are showing. The cracks are showing. But anyone would have known that. Anyone who looked at them would have known that it's just pure lust. They do not love each other. It's lust. And also, I always thought Brad was a bit... He's been a bit too good to be true. And he's starting to show... He's starting to, like, rear his head. Like, really starting to show who he really is. So, that's quite interesting um i feel like production make ella come across not ella shauna come across as a bit of an airhead not to be horrible but they just make her come across as like really ditzy and not aware of anything and just falls in love really quickly and is very naive and very gullible which is sad because i genuinely don't think she is but i feel like that's kind of how they're painting her out to be but anyway this is gonna be a rundown for later there's so much to get into like don't even get me started on love is blind don't even get me started on that show that's that's tea for later let me be editing my content on my phone so i can be posting i've also started trying to post consistently on tiktok follow me on tiktok i'm gonna put like my app right here somewhere follow me on tiktok i'm trying to get better with all my social platforms because i'm not doing great at all besides youtube youtube i've been good i posted four videos in the last two weeks but i haven't vlogged for a couple days uh i think i last picked up the camera on tuesday maybe it is now friday so it's been quite a bit of time um i've mainly just been at home but anyway today's another day in the studio it is currently 12 50. i have pretty much kind of an entire day in the studio i am supposed to be here all day at around 1 30 i'm gonna leave because i have a client i'm doing her cornrows but she doesn't drive she can't come to the studio she's not from the area so that's fine i'll go to wherever she's staying but i have to walk because my parents are on their way to scotland right now so i don't have a car to drive so i'm gonna have to walk which is not that bad i don't mind i love walking personally and it's only about 20 20 minute walk 20 30 minute walk which is nothing for me personally I wanted to show you guys something so i have a client coming um i want to say okay initially i'm gonna say sunday that's probably a very big lie just because tonight if not tomorrow i'm going to london for my cousin's 23rd so if i'm being completely realistic i am not gonna be in a position where i feel like 
doing someone's hair on Sunday. Like if, if I'm keeping it a buck fifty, it just doesn't make any sense. So I don't know why I'm trying to say that I'm gonna be doing hair on Sunday. But we have a new vendor alert. Um, another Indian vendor, my first Indian vendor, there's nothing wrong with them. But again, the process of being a hair vendor is you testing multiple hair. So I've got another vendor that I'm trialing out right now. Hashtag girl dinner, literally. Oh, just a detour. Can we talk about um, Supermot making twist of caps? Twist of caps now. That is probably one of the best things that they could have done. Like this is great. Oh, not me losing the lid. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So I wanted to unbox the hair with you guys. I got the delivery today. So let's see how I can open it. Let me just find some scissors. This I'm quite excited for because I have been talking to this hair vendor for three, four years, I would say, but I just never ordered, not for any particular reason. Um, I just, yeah, I just never ordered, but I thought, do you know what, this time around, we're gonna give it a go. So we've got 24 inch, 24, 22 and 20. So let's see. Now this Indian vendor, they are also like a very small business, I would say. Um, just like the other one, but the other one is more like family owned, I would say, like family owned small business. I'm not sure if this is the same or not. Okay. The hair is very, it's very coarse Indian hair which is not that bad because the other hair that I ordered was also quite coarse. I think I want to give this a wash though, like a good co-wash for sure. Definitely give it a good co-wash, but the hair is nice. Like it's very nice and it's very thick. It is very, very thick. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the ends do look quite, I don't know. I guess it's personal preference. Like, for me, they look quite thin. At the end, I prefer full ends. That is the only thing I would say that I'm not like too keen with and yeah, but I'm gonna do a bleach test and then I'm also gonna wash it with some, I think I have clarifying shampoo, so I wanna test clarifying shampoo as well. But yeah, other than that, I mean, the hair feels really nice. Defo raw Indian, I can tell, so. That's good. So, so I have a wig to do today that needs ventilating. I've never ventilated a wig in my life, so this should be interesting. I was thinking maybe I'll record it as a, as a TikTok. So my client sent, she sent the wig that, okay, let me do, let me do this. So it's guys, okay. She sent a wig and she said that the closure, okay, yeah, ooh, yeah. The closure needs some love, so it's a bit bold. As you can see, so I was like, okay, well, one thing we can try and do is ventilate it. Um, but this wig is definitely gonna need a wash before I do anything. So last night on Amazon, I ordered a ventilating needle kit. And I'll show you what it looks like. It literally just looks like, um, like a long pin, essentially. So in the pack, you get, oops, so here's like what you would hold. And then you have the actual pins. So these are, so you say, see this says one, one. This says one, two. Guys, don't look at my nails. I need to get them done like so badly. So I'm gonna do, I think one, I think I might do one, two for this. Cause they're not, aren't super small, but they're not like huge. So it has like a really small hole. I don't know if you can see that. The pin essentially goes in that tiny hole and you screw this bit to tighten it. So I'm just gonna put it in and then screw this to tighten it like that. And essentially what would happen, I don't know how well I could show you, but here's a lace. What I need to do is just put 
the needle i don't know how i can show you the needle essentially needs to go through the little squares that you see like up and out of one side and then you wrap the hair you twist it and you put it through and let go and then that's how you make a knot so i'm gonna add just a bit of hair like mainly here in the front and i feel like the lace mm, i might try add some bits like here too and there but this wig needs a wash before even starting any of that so i'm gonna do that first and this is what i'm gonna work on until it's time for me to leave to go to my other client who i'm doing her hair and then we're coming back because i actually do have another another client at four so i need to get this done i've got a lot to do basically and i've just also rambled for 10 minutes but hey I feel like you guys prefer longer vlogs and this is day in the life of a hairstylist like this is some of the stuff i get up to because a lot of people think oh it's just wig installs no it's not it's testing hair quality it's cleaning my studio it's packaging orders ordering orders scheduling my everything basically we're trying to grow this business okay guys we are trying to grow this business hello everybody how are we all doing today is saturday the 7th i barely vlogged yesterday it was so bad of me honestly i was supposed to but i just I got too busy like so my first client I had to walk to where she was I did her cornrows came back then I made a start on the wig that I was ventilating I took like a little tiny video that I might try and I don't know edit somehow to put as a real TikTok I don't know and then my other client came and then her appointment to be fair we did it quite quick so it was a frontal wig install but she brought the wig on the day so I had to like customize it install it style it da, da, da. but we managed to do it in about two and a half hours which is actually really really good timing um but i just was trying to get everything done and i was super tired so i barely vlogged so forgive me yesterday's vlog material is probably trash but today is saturday my wig is in the dryer over there because i'm going to london for my cousin's birthday so i'm probably gonna do a separate vlog so that i can put it out like later on i was supposed to put out a video on wednesday do not have the capacity or the time or the energy to record so i didn't i'm sorry but this video hopefully will come out tomorrow sunday if it doesn't it'll come out wednesday and then this weekend vlog will come out next weekend yeah because i need to get on my zoom i said to myself i'm going to be consistent and i've been okay i've only missed one upload this week so if i can try and get this out by tomorrow that'll still be good so maybe i'll take my laptop to london yeah anyways i'm gonna end this vlog here today um because i'm gonna start getting ready on camera for the second vlog for tomorrow's vlog however i was watching a sermon today and it was called and it is called sorry attention to detail i haven't finished watching it i'm only about 30 40 minutes in and what's interesting is this week i have been talking to my sister and one of my friends deborah and i was talking about how i feel like with my business and the new business that i'm starting I always keep saying I don't know what I'm missing I don't know what I'm missing I don't know what I'm missing like what am I missing that is stopping things from kind of being the way that I think they're supposed to be or they're destined to be because months ago I had this feeling inside me that like the person that God wants me to be in the destiny that he has for me I caught a glimpse of that like I literally felt a shift in my spirit I can feel that person like coming forward but then it kind of retracted i don't know how to completely explain what i'm feeling but i f i basically had a kind of glimpse ish of my future and i felt it within my being but then it kind of disappeared and i was just like what on earth kind of kind of changed and i was saying to deborah my sister and i think my mum that i keep thinking what am i missing what am i missing like what am i not doing that i'm supposed to be doing that is going to take my business to the next level because you guys know and my friends know i work very hard i am constantly working i don't stop working whether i'm doing something behind the scenes that you guys don't see whether i'm doing clients whether i'm now working on my email marketing whether i am editing content for youtube editing for instagram answering emails scheduling appointments sourcing hair vendors making wigs doing clients all by myself i am a one man band okay i do everything on my own right and i said what on earth am i not doing that i'm supposed to be doing that is hindering me 
from being what I believe I should be. That's kind of been my prayer point and I've been praying about it, but I would say that I kind of felt like I wasn't really getting an answer. Cool. So then this morning I was watching the first sermon that was by Pastor, I think Tubman. Cool. Then I nail came to the sermon that I was watching now. And he was talking about patterns and how God works in patterns and everything and everyone has their own unique pattern that is predestined for them. And he gave the example of creation and how if God flipped creation and created Adam and Eve first, it wouldn't have worked. God created the heavens and the earth, sun and light, land and sea, then the animals, and then the plants and everything else then adam and eve not before because he knew in order for adam and eve to survive everything else had to be done first and he said god works in patterns same way if i picked up my sister's iphone and i put it to my face i wouldn't be able to unlock it because my her facial pattern we both have eyes cheeks everything but it's not the same her pattern is different to my pattern and the more i keep trying to lock into lock her phone um, unlock her phone the delay time or the lock time increases because i'm trying to access information that is not mine and then he gave the example of social media and business and he said you can have two influencers someone might want to be a travel influencer so they now or a beauty blogger in general so they now start going to the same restaurants the same holidays the same this the same that that someone else is doing but they find that their page never grows why because you're following someone else's pattern rather than trying to study and understand the pattern that god has for you and in that moment i realized that that was the answer to my prayer it's not that i'm doing the wrong thing i am following other people's patterns rather than trying to figure out the pattern that god has for me i said wow because i keep thinking what am i doing wrong what am i doing i know that i work hard i know that i put in the effort i treat every single client the same i treat everyone with utmost respect i'm not disrespectful you know i do my best to make sure that everything is done on time everything is done to the best of my ability everyone is comfortable i do my best to create good instagram content da, 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 da. but am i working according to my pattern or the god the pattern that god has for me i'm working according to my pattern because even the new business that i'm starting me and my mom were having a conversation the other day i've done everything i needed to do i found the manufacturer i've done the designs i've done the trademark i've got the website da, 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 da. but i kept saying i i i i i i this is what i want this is how i want it to be i i i i i but then i'll keep saying but i know god gave me the idea so why am i doing everything according to what i want when it's god who gave me the idea to be a steward over i should be asking him god what do you want me to do same with my business when i quit my job in 2020 and i said god i am leaving this job and i'm standing in faith that you are going to be able to help me like you are going to sustain me and i'm never going to have to work a job again god said all right bet and i said cool and at that time i was like god i'm going to do everything that you want to do and business was thriving i was doing really really well i was still in london before i came home but i was doing everything according to how god wanted me to do it and then i came back and then started doing things according to how i wanted to do it and then that's when i slipped up it's like i can't remember who was walking on water and then started taking things in his own stride and began to sink because he was taking things in his own stride rather than keeping his eyes focused on Jesus and what Jesus wanted and leaning on Jesus' understanding of the situation rather than his own. That's when I slipped up and then that's when I got the job. And from the second I got the job, I had internal conflicts for so long and I knew it was my, my conscious 
and God's spirit within me saying, this is not what I intended for you because we made a deal that you were going to trust me and you were going to walk in what I have for you and I will sustain you and show you what I want you to do. But the second I came home and I got the studio and I started doing everything else, I started realizing that I'm walking according to what I want and not what God wants. So God said, okay, fine, you're going to get the job, but you're going to realize this is not for you and this is not the life that I have predestined for you. Within two and a half months, I quit. And that instant conflict that I had within me left immediately and business began to pick up and thrive. And here I am now, almost a year down the line of me getting that job in a much better place. My business has doubled. Everything is so much better because I was walking according to what God wanted me to do but at the same time i'm still trying to run this business according to how i want it and i'm also trying to copy copy other people's blueprint you can't do that you have to follow what god wants for you i know that you might feel like i'm rambling right now but this is literally me realizing that like god has been telling me like it's not that you're doing anything wrong you've just left me out And I can't believe it because I will say God's given me this idea, God this, God that. But then I'm not even consulting the guy. It doesn't work like that. If God has given you an idea, he's given you a business opportunity, he's given you anything business wise, you cannot stand in what you think is correct. No, that's not how it works. If God has given you the ideas, then he'll give you the tools in order to fulfill it. Stop trying to go in your own speed and in your own stride. And that is exactly what I've been doing. So I keep thinking I'm missing something. And God is like, no, you're just not studying the pattern that I gave you. You're following other people's patterns. And that's why it's not working, because your pattern is not their pattern. Guys, I could shout right now attention to detail i forgot all the details or the biggest detail of them all what does god want me to do it's not what i want to do what does he want me to do and that's why i've been messing up because the second i acknowledge god and i'm like all right god cool do i leave swindon do i stay here If he says stay, okay, what do you want me to do? He will give me the tools. He who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. God will never give you an idea or put something in front of you that he will not prepare you to undertake. He will never do that. Another thing Pastor Henderson said was when with Noah building the ark he built it according to God's instruction. He didn't do what he wanted to do. And he mentioned that when you follow what God wants to you to do God has an obligation what did he say exactly? He said God has an obligation to put his glory in it and fulfill it he's obligated to do so because this is what he wanted you to do if you follow it he is obligated to fulfill it but that's only if you do what he wants you to do not you trying to switch things up and do what you want to do in the meantime it don't work like that I feel like I'm going around in circles but this is me thinking out loud like this is literally how my brain is processing things that my mum has said to me things that even Deborah said to me months ago came back to me in the instant when he said that your pattern is not someone else's pattern the second you stop trying to focus on someone else's pattern and study your own pattern everything will come to pass and I am like oh my gosh because I used to say to Deborah, what marketing technique can I do and I used to send her all these other girls who are like marketing like this or marketing like that and she said yeah it's nice but like make sure it's you and I didn't understand it but it's true my business is mine why am I following what other people are doing to market it's my business and yeah what is your marketing technique it is your business who are you and how can you show you through your business in order to attract people 
and even my partner oh god i thank god for this man i'm telling you guys literally even last year him and i must have had a conversation and i was talking about how like i feel like my business should be so much further than this and that and da 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 and he would say stop watching other people my wig is down the dryer he would literally say stop watching other people what other people are doing has got nothing to do with you you've got your own you are your own person you are your own business stop watching other people and i didn't get it and now i get it same with what deborah said to me months ago about marketing i didn't get it now i get it one thing about god he's gonna answer your question your your prayers in a very 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 interesting way wow i am like i can't believe it and I know I've rambled for 15 minutes, but I'm going to leave this entire thing in the end of this vlog. I'm not even going to cut it out. I'm just not going to do it because I don't know who needs to hear it. And I'm going to link the sermon or put the name of it on the screen so you guys can watch it because I'm, I am... Ay, happy Sabbath is what I will say. Happy Sabbath. Yeah, happy Sabbath. But anyway, I need to get ready because I'm supposed to be going to London very, very soon. It is now one o'clock and i need to get a wriggle on i want to be out of here by three so yeah guys i hope that blessed you i don't know it just really did something to me in that moment and i cannot even believe it but i just had to sit there and share it because i literally rang my mom instantly and even she was saying that she was praying that god would answer my prayer of what am i missing and then i've called her within hours to say that this is what i got from a sermon that i wasn't even intending on clicking on God is very intentional, guys. Very, very intentional. And literally, ask and it shall be given to you. Like, anything you want to know, anything you're trying to figure out, just ask. He will tell you. But it's whether you're going to ask wholeheartedly. And, yeah, it's, oh, we serve a good God. And if you don't believe in God, um, I'm, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. Because there is so much comfort and there's so much peace in understanding that your life is predestined for you and there is nothing in this life that will happen that God doesn't have a solution for and that you are never alone and that God is a mighty God. Hey, guys, wow. Wow. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. I'm going to start another vlog as of right now. I'm going to do my hair, get to London, and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye.